Welcome. So today I thought we would walk through Tombsward Catacombs. It's right down here. Uh, easiest way to get here is start from the Church of Pilgrimage. Just ride due south. Uh, the church is right there. You will just come down this road here and just uh, come right up through here. It is a little bit hidden. It's right behind this pillar. Go ahead and rest, just to refill everything, just in case. Now this is a big time uh, skeleton place, if I remember correctly, so... Let me put on our good skeleton instrument. I don't really remember what's in here. Alright, see? That was Sacred Blade. And see, look how much damage we're doing just on the hit. I mean, we are just massacring these skeletons. Okay. Don't see anything else. But, you know, just hold on to it, you know. You know, and wait until they, you know, start attacking you. And then target them and just, you know, hit one with it. And then you can just bash the hell out of the other ones. So here's where the boss is at. hear something off in the distance nope there he is oh, I hear him coming to life all right perfect and it doesn't really use up a huge amount of your, you know, FP. So, I mean, that's always good. So. Not seeing anybody. Oh, I'm hearing something come together. Oh, yep. Two of them. There they go. Those are archers, so we're going to want to go take these guys on. Hit the one. And then just beat the other one to death. There we go. Anybody else? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I need to put my... Let me take those off, actually. Put that on. There we go. And the Grave Glove Wart is something we can use... Oh, come here, buddy. We die. That we can use to upgrade our uh, summons. You know, if we haven't. So. Just keep your ears open. Yeah. Got him. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So, for these things, we can do one or two things. We can either shoot them with an arrow, or we can just hit them with uh, 
the shackle. So, Margit shackle. We'll just go ahead and put that on there. There we go. And that will negate that. Uh, save us an arrow. So we don't need to use it. an arrow. I think there's probably a guy to our right here. Yep, there is. Go ahead and move back here. Let him come out. All right, well, we missed, but... One hit's gonna do him in, so... You know, and if you're really desperate, you can run. I mean, I think the idea is they want the flame to come, and so you'll be way back here, and then you'll run all the way up here, hop into this little alcove, and he'll attack you. And, you know, then you'll be like, oh, jeez, no, uh, uh. And then you run. Once you kill him, then you run from there into here. You do got to be careful, though, because you don't want to reactivate this thing. Now what you could do is you could where'd this asshole go? Where you at, jerk? Ah. Stop that, sir. As you could aggro these guys and run over here. Jump. And hit it. And get it to come up and flame. And see, that's why I was mentioning, you know, you got to be careful around the, fighting around these things because sure as anything, you will accident or you will hit it or they will hit it. And suddenly you'll be standing here or here and get just burned. But what you could have done is run in there, aggro them, run up here, hit it, and then that would have burned them to death. But they're skeletons. They just, you know, respawn, you know, so. Oh. There we go. All right. Okay. So we are need to top off on everything. So we'll go ahead and do that. Keep your ears open. Not hearing anything respawn, so we're good in this area. Skeleton ahead, okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, two of them. Bob and weed, people. There we go. That's right, when you see them shooting the arrows at you, you bob and weave. Just bob and weave. They don't lead you very well, so I mean, yeah. You should be okay. Alright, so anyway, here we go. This way. And on. And do I see here any? No. Go ahead and pull the lever. 
it's gonna open the door. Gonna grab the grave violet. Run on back down here. Here's where we came in. There's our boss door. Back this way. I'll show you real quick. Just to bring everything together for us. Here's where we use the stone sword, stone sword key. Our grace is just back up here. See, right here. I'm not going to reactivate it because I don't think I need it. And I don't want stuff to respawn, so... Got to stake America here if we need it. Alright. And let's see what they've got here. If only I had a fire. Good luck. Not really sure what they were talking about. Doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and see what we got in here. Oh, let me take that off real quick. Here we go. All right. Let's traverse the mist. Cemetery shade. Yep, yep, yep. He's got the bleed. He's got the bleed. Yep, yep. Okay. We got Luteal the Headless, which is a great early game summon. Highly recommend Luteal. Um, guy can just do it all. Very tanky. He, you know, he's got a range spear throw. He's got a, you know, up close just, you know, spear thrust. Uh, he warps places, so he moves around the battlefield quickly. You know, just got a ton of health. Highly recommend you get him up as quick as you can using the glove warts. Um, you know, you got to go to the round table hold to do all that. But, yeah, I mean, he's he's a really good summon. Really good. Cemetery Shade didn't have a lot of health, as you can see. Uh, his main thing, he builds up bleed really, really quick. Uh, so, yeah, got to be careful about that. But otherwise, that is it. That is Tomb's Word Catcombs. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a great day. Uh, hope everything's going good for you. Stay hydrated out there, because it's hot. And otherwise, I will see you again soon. Bye for now.